these i wanted to hop in really fast and just give you guys a couple of cards for today spirit what is it that pisces needs to know battle five of wands spirit clarify the five of wands the five of wands is about competition struggles challenges disagreements too many options and maybe you need to compromise pisces so who are you having a conflict with pisces i've been wanting to tell you guys like sometimes things come to my mind and I don't really want to say them because I think I might offend somebody. But Pisces, I'm getting a real feeling of like laziness from somebody. And it's almost as if like you're complaining like... Okay, so we have a Pisces that is very much true to Pisces nature. Like I consider myself to be very much true to Pisces nature. Spirit, clarify the five of wands. Because... I mean, most traits that Pisces have, I have. But because I have lived on Earth and I live life, you know, some things I have changed. Like, you know, when they're saying that Pisces are very emotional. And I could be emotional at times, maybe, sometimes. But I'm like the meanest, most emotional person you could ever meet. Because if you get me wrong, I will... I'm like, it's like a different type of... But I'm learning to control that person, okay? Okay. So, I'm getting the feeling of that type of Pisces. Like, we have people who are on their grind. They're out here moving. They're living their life. They're, you know, trying to navigate this thing we call life. They don't know how. They're just trying to, you know, figure it out. They're going to work. They're taking care of whatever it is they need to take care of. But then we have somebody that is like not doing anything and maybe you have people around you that are complaining and that could be the person so this is why i'm saying this like it's a different type of pisces they're the lazy one they're not trying to do anything they have people yelling at them to get motivated and now they're bored five of cups five of cups is about sadness loss dwelling on negative behavior negative having a negative attitude self-pity like looking at all the things that are not working right for you and then i guess this is for this pisces spirit what does pisces need to know um they're not looking at what's going good for them like even though maybe they don't have a job they have a very loving family who is trying to, you know, get them motivated and trying to get them on the right path. Although they see it as the person is aggy. They're getting on your nerves. They're driving you crazy. But they're just trying to see better for you. And quite frankly, Pisces, you're definitely being lazy. And you're being bitchy with it. So you should get up and get out of the house. Find something to do. Get a job. Find activities to do with your friends. Just something like work on your craft. You're probably very artistic, very creative, and you're just feeling down and dirty. Maybe somebody just left you. Down in the dumps is what I meant to say, not down and dirty. The moon maybe just broke up with somebody and you're feeling down or you just have been feeling you know in a funky type of mood but either way it's time to pick yourself up baby the moon is about changes dreams fear like unnecessary fear it's like connected to your subconscious like in your mind it represents the thoughts feelings and doubts like the fears that you carry internally you probably are feeling very anxious, maybe even ha having anxiety attacks here and there. It's like you're letting the fears override. So again, 
I was saying it was because maybe somebody or you just broke up with somebody, but then we have the two of cups, which has to do with relationships, partnerships, soulmates, mutual attractions, friendships, like meant to be, soul bonds. It could be a business partner or a best friend. It's like you just have a connection with this person like it's just meant to be. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know? So, like I was saying, maybe you split up with this person or maybe this person. Somebody could just be connecting with this person. But to me, it seems like there's a person that is freshly new and some heartbreak. That's what it feels like. And they're having fights and battles with this person and maybe they're fighting in their mind like should they let this person go but it doesn't seem like they were happy with that person anyway like the four of cups is about being not happy and stagnant like dissatisfied with what you're being offered um nothing's going your way well, everything could be going your way, but you're feeling like it's not. So, like I said, somebody is just feeling like they're not they're not happy right now. And then, Pisces, we have somebody that is thinking about this relationship. Pisces, you could also be having, like, very clear, vivid dreams um, about things pertaining to love relationship or just life in general you should start writing these things down you know when you wake up if you can remember these dreams the lover's card the lovers is about love relationship relationship choices it's about making connections networking this could potentially be a romantic situation like one that you're you know romantically romantically connected to the person or this could just be a person in general and again, it seems like you have like two situations pertaining to love. So somebody's thinking about love. Somebody has that heavily on their mind, but they're not really sure about it. So maybe they're thinking that the new person is going to treat them the way the old person did. Or maybe they're feeling like this relationship could end up potentially the same way as the last one. All we did in, in that relationship was argue, fight, and fuss, and we did nothing. I was bored. We weren't going anywhere. And now I'm with this new person, and I'm not really sure. Like, I'm scared. Spirit, clarify the lover's card. And Pisces, it's understandable for you to be scared. But you have to let everybody have their chance, their shot. So that person need that person needs a clean slate. Don't bring your old baggage into your new relationship. Sometimes that's easier said than done, but just be mindful to pay attention that this person is not the last person. This person loves you. This person treats you great. This person talks to you the way you need to be talked to. And this could be like somebody just meeting a person and just, you know, having a connection with this person. It could be like a best friend you... A person you've never met before in life, but then you meet them instantly and it's like, hey, like you instantly click. I feel like somebody's thinking about marriage. Like it seems like this is like a, a union. Both of these. So it seems like there's marriage on somebody's mind. Spirit, clarify the lover's card. I'm also getting the vibe like somebody could be bored in their relationship. Somebody could be bored in the situation that they've been in. Like they're, they've been arguing, they've been fighting, they've been battling with this person. And maybe they won't leave, but they're afraid. Okay, so we're going to take both of these. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. Luxury, rest, pampering yourself, enjoying your hard work vacations achieving your goals then we have the page of swords exploring a fresh way of thinking you're asking lots of questions experiencing positive change um you're moving forward you're having new ideas new perspectives new thoughts 
you're learning new techniques to do things. You have a very curious mind right now. So maybe somebody is on vacation with their person and they're like just experiencing, having a new experience with this, this person they've been feeling, or just even their friend. They could be on vacation with their friend. They could be taking a girl's trip or a guy's trip or a co-ed, it doesn't matter. It could be like a reward for, you know, your hard work for something that you have achieved recently. Or you could just be changing the way that you handle people. You could actually have just changed your whole attitude. That could be it as well. Embracing your spirituality change in your growth and who you have become as a person you're developing and growing you're experiencing fresh ways of thinking new ideas you're not being limited pisces you're starting to figure some things out and you're asking a lot of questions you're wanting to know things spirit what is it that pisces needs to know which is great i mean information knowledge is key So you're asking a lot of questions, Pisces. And you could be trying to fix your, you know, your love life. You could be experiencing new things even in that area. So maybe the gift was something for the, the bedroom. Okay. So we have... And then we have the four of pentacles. The sun is the yes card. Happiness. All is well. Um, it could mean the birth of a child, positive energy, light, power, growth, radiance, joy, vitality, optimism. This is a positive sign that things are working well for you, Pisces, and you're moving in the right direction. Pay attention, be mindful to all the good things happening around you and try to live in the moment and take these things in. Try to live every moment. Then we have the four pentacles. Four of Pentacles is like saving money, long-term financial security, actively saving money for like big purchases and watching your expenses. You're trying to accumulate wealth, Pisces, so you can live comfortable in your future, now and in your future. So that's making me feel like, Pisces, you're working towards, you know, financial success. You're working to trying to build, you know, a successful life. I mean, the sun is positive. The sun is radiance. The sun is glowing. And you're trying to save. You're trying to make sure you're building upon what you have now. You're trying to build upon what you have now, maybe with this person over here. And Pisces, it seems like, I don't know what this, um, you know, the first thing was. You know, the energy of like the fighting and boredom. Or maybe you're trying to fight boredom literally like you've been home you've been you know reading you're studying and you don't want to go out and get in the mix of things so it could be that somebody's literally trying to fight boredom so maybe you need to go read a book or something find some positive things to do with yourself somebody's worried about love they're not sure if the person that they're with they should be with somebody loves the person that they're with a lot and they're working towards their financial future and somebody's just excited about life in general and then just let's not forget the lazy vibe you have to get up you got to pull yourself together you have good things waiting for you and i understand you don't feel that right now you feel upset nasty hurt lonely whatever you feel all those things. But you have to talk to yourself in a positive way. So try to at least get yourself up, get dressed, get cute or something. So, you know, the ladies can check you out. Or so, you know, the fellas can check you out, whoever you are. But just your energy is not right. And the people around you are telling you that. And you're not listening. But your attitude stinks. And I wanted to tell you last time. But I just didn't. So. I'm just going to tell you now. Pisces. I'm 
feeling like you're trying to make everything around you nice. So maybe somebody has renovated their home as well. Somebody seems like they're trying to create the energy that they want to live in, which is great. They're creating this nice area in their in their home to relax, relate, release in. Something to restore their mind, body, and soul. That's what I feel from her. So somebody's redecorating. Making everything nice and clean. All radiant. Pisces, maybe you should add a touch of yellow in that. So Pisces, this is your reading. If it resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Remember to click the post bell so you get alerts when videos are posted.